Also add a stroke to give it some line weight. Continue adding colors and textures to the roads and other buildings. And if you miss any area, you can just select it and then paint over it in white to add it to the clip and mask. This is kind of my favorite part to just add another design element that I literally thought of on the spot which was to add some random grass patches on the steps. I think it really makes a difference. Then I am 
up selecting all glass features and then adding a blue color overlay. I followed the colors from the inspiration image, but it was not working for me, so I have to patent making it all black, but I'm not that brave, even though it looks really cool. If you make your glass black, know that you are very cool. I am adding a slight texture now, which I should have done as a pattern in the beginning, but I didn't, but that's okay. Make sure the texture is to scale before adding the clipping mask. With metal roofing, I wanted to control its orientation and scale, so I didn't turn it into a pattern. Make sure you align the ends of the pattern with the end of the roof, otherwise it looks weird and unrealistic. So then, I'm going to add a clipping mask. To add depth to the layer, I will press Ctrl on the layer, which selects it again. Then, using a low opacity brush, I can paint in black on the layer mask, which makes it lighter. I need to now add drop shadow to my building, and to get the angle the same as the other buildings, I'm going to create a rectangle first, and then add drop shadow, which is in the same direction as the other buildings. Once I'm happy with how it looks, I can select the area with the polygon and lasso tool and then color it out with black and lower its opacity. You can also take the easier way, which is to select the texture layer and auto drop shadow for that. But as I've previously mentioned, sometimes my brain stops working. So this is kind of my basic site plan editing and it already looks pretty good. But now let's take it up a notch with a bit of detail. Using the magic wand tool, I'm selecting the pedestrian paths around the building. And then by clicking on this, Photoshop will now intersect my selection. Sometimes my brain stops working, so I have no idea why I added a red color overlay. Maybe I was angry. I actually meant to add a, a tile texture pattern. It is so hard to keep speaking like this. I feel like I'm out of breath. Similarly, I'm going to select the pedestrian paths once again, but this time select my design as well. And then I'm going to invert the selection and then add a black color overlay, lower its opacity a bit, and then with a soft brush we can soften the edges a bit. Final detail, I'll be adding people, car, and buses. And arrows to mark the different entrances. Oh yeah, I've also added solar panels and reflections on the glass. I wouldn't 
say that this is my favorite side plan that I made because it's in the city so it doesn't have that much life in it pretty much same as my voice today but I love how my design reacts to the context and I do think it looks better when it's cropped as you can see the boring context if you have any suggestions on how to improve it or make it a bit more interesting please leave it in the comments down below for everyone to benefit from it's time now for the secret surviving show and the question we are answering today is by Dion Nell Hi, I'm studying interior design architecture and I'm only in my second year now I love what I'm doing and I'm the type of person that likes to learn and evolve my work This year I have a new lecture and this is first time lecturing as well I love to receive criticism since I feel that helps me make my projects better However, I feel that this new lecture of mine is a very shy person and is too scared to give out critiques in any form Plus, I don't know what to do to make my projects better Plus, I don't know how to ask him for any pointers, any advice Love your videos, by the way Thank you so much, Dion I have a few tips for you First one is to ask Ask your lecture, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? I'm sure you have some uncertainties about your design That you can ask for opinion Based on my experience, lecturers will rarely tell you how to make a design better Because that is what independent learning is They will usually guide you through the process and explain technical aspects of how buildings work But how to actually make your design better, that's up to you unfortunately But you don't have to stop at this lecture ask other lecturers specialized in different fields if that's possible maybe urban design, architectural technology or, or landscape architecture etc another thing is to find the best in your class that could be one person or a group of people that you know and ask them to give you a crit both advice will give you a fresh eye on your design which is what you really want sometimes you learn most from your peers than lecturers so don't dismiss that idea Personally, I don't like asking for feedback from lecturers a lot because sometimes they confuse me So I rely mostly on myself um, and precedent studies So really dive in the projects that you love and, and ask yourself why do you like them? What makes them work? Look at their materials, furniture, color, perspective, space, forms, relationships, everything And then if you see something that you like just keep adding to your design if that's possible and they fit with your concept why not for me to, to feel really happy with how my design is after i feel that i have a solid concept and i'm actually doing plans and perspectives and all that i make sure that every inch of my building is designed i know how each space will look like i know just everything is intentional I would look at each space individually Look at some perspectives and draw them and design it That's how I know or that's how I feel that I've done a good job Lastly, you can always ask me for feedback if you wish on my Fiverr page Where I give feedback on portfolios, projects, presentation It's a way of supporting me in the channel as well as learning architecture in the process I really hope that helps So leave your questions down below with the hashtag Surviving Secret Show to be featured in my video I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are Stay strong, stay safe I'm Rasha Shururu and I will see you next time